Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is September 8th, and right now we're looking at the mid-level water vapor that appears in the state of California. Check out Hurricane Jova down here, just now starting into some of the cooler water. It's starting to lose some of its steep convection, but it will continue its trek to the northwest and spread some rounds of moisture back up over the southwest USA. We'll take a look at those details coming up here in a moment. You can see that it'll probably remain a hurricane through tonight. Then by tomorrow morning, it should be a tropical storm. Then it will lose all deep convection and get caught up in the low-level flow and start to push off to the west. Now this is looking at the sea surface temperatures. You can see why these systems develop down here. The water is much warmer. And then as they move off to the north and the northwest, they start to weaken as they get over the cooler water. That is the hurricane's moisture source. And it shows why it is so hard to get tropical systems up into California. Now, if you guys want a nice affordable home weather station, click on that link down below to save 10%. Haptic rain gauge, ultrasonic anemometer, all solar powered, all wireless, great smartphone app. Highly recommend this system. Go ahead and click on that link down below to save 10% on that. High surf and dangerous rip currents. National Weather Service, Los Angeles. Watch out for those south facing beaches. There could be even some coastal flooding out there. And this goes all the way from today on in through Tuesday. And there is some beach hazard statements up and down the coastline here as well from that surf from Hurricane Jova. And this is going to go through 11 a.m. Sunday morning. Uh, here we go with the moisture moving into the region. So high Sierra thunderstorm is possible Saturday. Frequent lightning, small hail, erratic gusty winds to 40 miles per hour. It could be a couple rounds of it too as we go on in through early next week. Here we'll look at the models on that here in a moment. And if you've been watching the channel the last few days, we've been talking about this for a while now. National Weather Service Las Vegas is showing this upper level flow, bringing some of that moisture back into the region here. You can see there are going to be some chances across some of the deserts out there and across some of the Sierra Nevada and through Nevada also. Here we go with the excessive heat this weekend. Check out Phoenix, another string of 110 plus degree days here as we march through September. You can see Imperial, Yuma, very warm out there as well. And then if you have been living under a rock, Phoenix just went through its all-time warmest meteorological summer here. So yeah, the heat continues for a lot of Arizona. On this day in SoCal weather history, September 8th, 2014 and 15, we got remnants of hurricanes moving up over the area. And we're not dealing with as much moisture this round as we have in the past at times, but it's still something worth keeping in the back of your mind. And just if you're out and about, especially in the back country and the higher terrain, watch out for that thunderstorm activity. And I'll show you what the models have to say about that here in a moment. But this is looking at the GFS last night's run. You can clearly see Hurricane Jova down here spreading some moisture moisture back up over the area you probably feel that bump in the relative humidity out there if you're sensitive to that type of thing you see the moisture surge across the area but the biggest bulk of this tropical moisture generally remains off to the southwest i don't want to alarm anybody we're not looking at any huge flooding concerns or anything as of right now there could be some localized flooding with some of the heavier downpours but you can kind of see the bulk of that moisture stays offshore and eventually gets caught up and pushed off to the west and it'll eventually rejoin the mid latitudes and maybe try to make another approach towards the west coast at a later date this is total precipitation nam 3 km check it out you can see it start across the higher terrain of the sierra nevada here pretty good model agreement in that between you know the gfs the nam the european and it kind of kicks off some stronger storms across nevada and then there might be another round as we go through early next week but you can kind of see not a widespread flooding concern going on but you can't rule out a couple thunderstorms across some of the higher terrain of southern california as well <clears throat> this is looking at 700 millibars upward <clears throat> excuse me it's frog in my throat this morning so uh, about 10,000 feet 700 millibars and again the bulk of the moisture is going to stay off to the southwest but some of it does spread back up over the region that's what would kick off those thunderstorms across the sierra nevada on and through nevada as we go through saturday for the most part now looking at uh, total swell, you can clearly see Hurricane Jova down here kicking off some swell, moving up the coastline. It should be mainly a central California down through southern California issue. Then you can see the system really weaken as we go on in through early next week, and then that should just be a distant memory. Now taking a look at daily 2-meter max temperatures here. This is for today, Friday, September 8th. You can see the warm conditions across from the desert areas. You're looking at mid and upper 90s for the valleys here. And of course, if you get towards the coastline, a little bit cooler there. We bump those temperatures up a bit. You can see going up over 100 for Las Vegas, probably talking about 115 for Death Valley. A lot of the areas up over 110, including Phoenix. And not too bad. A little nice warm day here across some of the valley areas, but nothing too crazy. And we go Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, maybe a bit of a cool down as we start to roll through next week. So you see some 80s return to some of the valley areas there. Looking at Sacramento, a little bit above average here. Nothing too crazy. I mean, you're talking about, what, 92? You're talking about maybe 8, 10 degrees above average for Sacramento on Monday. 
And you can see those average temperatures marked by that red line here. Las Vegas, Nevada, you can see the red line slowly declining as we move through September and generally just above average conditions here and maybe a couple hundred degree days here as we go through this weekend. Bakersfield, California, above average conditions for a while, but not excessively so. Burbank, California, going to drop back down a little bit here as we go through next week. And we'll talk more about that here as we come up. Nothing too crazy right now, but you can see Burbank maybe up towards 96, 95. And the European probably underdoing this a little bit. So you might be up towards 100 degrees here as you go through the weekend for Burbank, California. San Jose, right around average through the extended. Palm Springs, you can see that warmth out there. Maybe a couple 110 plus degree days coming. Six to 10 day bullseye across the Pacific Northwest, a little bit near normal or below normal here across from Southern California. This goes through September 17th, and this is the 6 to 10 day, maybe bringing some above average conditions across from Arizona here, but still kind of a mixed bag across California. This is looking at the fires, smoke. You can see they still have the fires going out there, but for the most part, that storm that came through that brought the flooding to the Burning Man in Las Vegas and some other areas across the deserts really helped out with the, the fire complexes there across Northern California. And this is looking at the HER, which shows surface smoke. The 12Z run that I showed daily goes out 48 hours. And you can see the smoke kind of flaring up in the evening hours at times. But for the most part, no widespread smoke across the area. But if you're in and around some of this fire activity across Northern California, you definitely know what's going on and where that's coming from. Some, some of Southern Oregon still burning as well. But comparatively, as what could happen this time of year across the Sierra Nevada, this is looking quite good across the region. So anyway, yeah, we'll watch this tomorrow. We'll take a look at the high resolution models as they come in and we'll probably start to pick up. Maybe I'll run the Doppler as I start the video tomorrow and we'll take a look if there's any showers imminent here across some of the higher terrain especially. But anyway, yeah, there goes Hurricane Jova out there and we're just going to get a glancing blow from its remnants and some of its moisture, but the bulk of that is going to stay offshore. So Anyway, and also I wanted to uh, remind everybody, I'm going to be doing an El Nino video here. There should be new data coming in, I think, next Monday. That's September 11th. I'll we'll probably have it out by the 12th at least. And we'll go over what El Nino is, what the signals are showing, and how that might affect California and the Southwest USA. So uh, stay tuned for that over the next few days as well. But otherwise, I will do my normal briefing tomorrow, and I will see you guys then.